Kathy. And this is Maggie May. Join us as we follow the moon. Today, we want to take you around a beautiful area of Wisconsin, Sturgeon Bay, out in the Door County out area. And uh, we've got a lot of great things to show you, so come along. Thank you. Now we're going to start off today at Cave Point County Park. And just at first glance, people are playing and cooking out and just having fun. It just looks like a really great county park. Then you start to notice it's surrounded by Lake Michigan. And Lake Michigan has some pretty mighty waters. Sure does. And that's where the name Cave Point comes into play. You're really up on a bluff. Yeah, you're, you're up high and you can see right there what's happened with the water, the waves hitting it. It's made these caves back in and the sound, it's just thunderous. Un underneath? Yeah, you, you feel it rumble. Look at that. Is that amazing? There were also places where you could see the ground had sunk uh, along the path there that people were still walking on. <laughs> yeah. Including us. Like right there. <laughs> the tree's just barely hanging in there. Yeah. And you could look straight up the whole coast along that park. It was just fantastic. It was beautiful. The uh, waves are going to crash onto this rock, and I just about jumped when they hit. It, it's, it hits with such force. That was a very memorable time. Yes, it was. <laughs> Next up are the lighthouses all the way around the peninsula. We literally used the lighthouses to guide us around. And the first two, which are located at the same spot, are the Sturgeon Bay lighthouses. The red one is the Sturgeon Bay Ship Canal It was just head. a little one. <laughs> yeah. And the second one there is the Sturgeon Bay Canal Light. These are still active and in use by the Coast Guard. So it's restricted space around those lighthouses. Now next up, Bailey's Harbor, and this is called a lower range light. Just a small one that peers out through that uh, cut in the trees. This one is the old Bailey's Harbor birdcage lighthouse. And it says far enough away, that's all the closer you can get up to it. We had to use Kathy's long lens to see it. Now that one peering out in the distance is the Canna Island Lighthouse. And it's on an island, and they take you by tractor and wagon over to the island. Now, it's currently under restoration, so that's what you see all the construction around it. Uh, but it looks like it's getting very nearly uh, finished with the restoration, and it's beautiful. Now, out in the distance, that is the Pilot Island Lighthouse. This is up at the northernmost point before you go to Washington Island. And over towards Washington Island at that same place is the Plum Island Rear Range Lighthouse. Again, we're using her long lens to try to bring that in a little bit closer for you. Now, this one again is still actively in use by the Coast Guard and it's very near the park where we were staying. It's called Sherwood Point Lighthouse. It's over near Potawatomi uh, State Park. Now, this is in Algoma and it's the Algoma Pierhead Lighthouse. Look at that sky. Yeah. It was nice after a couple of cloudy days. <laughs> Absolutely. And then the last one we're going to show you, the tenth one today, is the Eagle Bluff Lighthouse. This is in Peninsula State Park. And it is beautiful. This one you can actually take tours through the house and up into the lighthouse. Um, so this was the only one of the ten that you could actually go inside. And around. 
That's right. <laughs> now, next up was a recommendation we had gotten. This is Al Johnson's Swedish restaurant, and they are known for their breakfast. They're only open until three o'clock in the afternoon. It is all Swedish, and in the summer, they have goats up on those roofs. Now, we decided to take ours to go. We went to a little park across the street where we could sit there and, and watch the water. I had a breakfast sandwich with the fried potatoes. Kathy had Swedish pancakes with whipped cream and cherries. It didn't quite live up to the reputation that we'd heard about. And that whipped cream wasn't just whipped cream. It was cherry filling underneath it. <laughs> yeah. Now, next, we want to show you downtown Sturgeon Bay. And downtown Sturgeon Bay is built right with the bay. And unlike most river towns, it's built on both sides of the bay. It goes completely around it. Lots of boating in the area. In fact, there's shipyards down there where they make those big freighters. And it's divided into the west side. And the west side has the, the uh, Maritime Museum. We didn't get an opportunity to go through the museum. It's on our list for next time, but you can see the, the uh, ships that they have there and the maritime artifacts they have there is just incredible. A lot of nice older buildings that have been repurposed and, and uh, are thriving businesses today. The architecture was especially nice. Yep. Now we're over on the other side of the bay, the east side. And again, this one's very retail oriented. I wouldn't say it's touristy, but it's a lot of retail businesses and it's things that are made there local. Uh, anything from music stores, they've got a huge candy shop that's real well known there. Quilt store. Quilt store with all locally made quilts. Uh, jeweler there that uh, has uh, jewelry all made from things local. Now, Sunny's Italian Kitchen, this is another recommendation we got. This one was a hit. It was pretty good. Yeah. I think it, it's going to feed us for a while. <laughs> yeah. It's right there by the bridge. They have outdoor seating as well as indoor seating. And when you go in, if you go down, there's a uh, microbrewery down there. When you go up, you go to the restaurant. And it's just really a cool, relaxed atmosphere. One of the first places I've seen in a long time with a salad bar. And uh, great menu. They're known for their pizzas. We did not try their pizza, but we went full Italian. You had um, rigatoni alla sunny. Something, uh, yeah. And I had tortellini that had uh, mushrooms and sausage. We started off with our salads. We decided bread would be good, so we got an order of the cheese bread. It was outrageous. <laughs> and then there's the <laughs> meals. The meal. And they are huge. Those bowls are really deep. <laughs> I made two meals out of mine. Kathy's going to have five or six, I it looks yeah. like. <laughs> I could have fed an army. <laughs> now, this twisty road I included on here, because when you get to the northern tip of the island, it dead ends at the ferry and the ferry goes over to Washington Island. And I said the end of the island, the end of the peninsula, I yes, should have said. Yeah. But the ferry <clears throat> takes you over to Washington Island. They do charge by the person and they do charge by the vehicle. If you're going in an RV, they charge by the foot. So keep that in mind, we took the car, but there was uh, a gasoline truck on there. Uh, there were a lot of big, heavy yeah. commercial vehicles. Yeah, they can handle it. It's just, can, can you? <laughs> yeah. And I kind of had to back in and around, but they were great helping yeah. me uh, avoid the, the tight quarters there and getting backed in the back corner. Uh, we have this sped up because it's about a half hour uh, ferry ride over there. Uh, the one thing that I wasn't counting on, uh, I have a little problem with motion and it pulls forward into the harbor and then it starts backing up. I'm thinking, well, this isn't too bad. It backs up all the way to Washington Island. So 
I got out after a little while and walked around the ship. Yeah, you wanted to take pictures anyway. Yeah. There is uh, one of the lighthouses there that we were showing you earlier. You go right past it. And they run uh, these ferries back and forth. We passed the other ferry there. It was funny. We saw cars parked on the other side and wondered why these old beat up cars were sitting over there. It was so they didn't have to pay to ship That's the right. car back and forth every time. <laughs> It was $14 per person round trip, and it was $28 per car round trip. So the two of us in the car ran 56 bucks. But it was for the whole day and it was worth it. Yeah, and Maggie got to go for free. That's right. Now this is the Mountain Park Lookout Tower on Washington Island. And it has a massive amount of steps. There we are looking back down them thinking, oh my gosh, we made it. And this is the tower but unfortunately the tower was closed for repair when we were there. We didn't find that out until we were at the top. That's right. This is Schoolhouse Beach Park. And Schoolhouse Beach Park, also on Washington Island, on the north edge of the island, is known for these rocks. I've never seen anything like them. They're like skipping stones. It's illegal to take one off the beach. $250 a rock. <laughs> yeah, $250 fine if you're caught removing one. Yeah. Needless to say, we didn't remove it. No, we didn't. But they are lightweight. They're smooth. They're really, really cool. Now, also on Washington Island is Fragrant Isle Lavender Farm. This was beautiful. It I was love it. so good smelling. It, there was very little of it blooming because of the time of year when we were here. But it's just a work of art just looking at them. Absolutely. And the way they're planted, there's people out there always taking care of them. Um, it was just, the grounds were magnificent. And if we'd been there just a few weeks later, you'll see some lavender color coming in there. I can just imagine how beautiful this place is going to be. When you go inside, the lavender fragrance is oh, amazing. Yes. And they do have jewelry and some things like that, but they have a lot of lavender products that are their own specific products. They don't have as much jewelry as they had when I walked in the door. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. But beautiful store, wonderful people, and they have lavender baked goods and vanilla lavender ice cream also. Oh my gosh, it was so good. <laughs> Now we stopped at Wild Tomato and Wild Tomato is a wood-fired pizza place and they've got all of their swag there inside. Uh, it's a really cool building. They even make their special pizzas and freeze them so you can take them frozen to bring home. Uh, their pizza is incredible. Yes, it is. The, it's really good. The crust good. is fantastic. The cheese on it was like really creamy. It yeah. was it was outstanding and loads of toppings. They do have seating inside, but you want to sit outside. That's plexiglass halfway down, so it blocks the wind, and you can look right out there on the bay, and and there's a park right in between too. Mm -hmm. Lots of activity. Yeah, there's the park right there, and. You know, if, if you've got kids with you and they can go over there and play for a little bit That's while right. you're waiting on the food. Uh, but those hot wood fired ovens, everything cooks up pretty quick. And look at that yeah, pie. That was good. Now, Kathy had a Potosi root beer there from over in uh, Minnesota. And I had very unique beverage. It was a Von Steel cherry cider. And we thought, this is great, and it's local. We've got to find it. And it comes from the Von Steel Winery. The building is on the National Registry of Historic Places. And it is really neat. They've got a long tasting bar inside. Uh, great selection. And... Uh, one of the things I thought was unique all the way around the top here, these are all their award winners. Yeah. And it wraps around the corner. Now we went outside. They've got tasting set up outside also. We got a flight of the ciders, including the cherry, raspberry, apple, and the bourbon barrel aged. And they are amazing. This is a facility where they make it and they do offer tours. 
Lastly, we want to show you the sunset over Sturgeon Bay from the George K. Piney C County Park. So sit back, enjoy the sunset, and hang on, there's more to come. That's right. Kathy, we've had just a little bit over a week in Door County and around Sturgeon Bay area. What did you think? I'm amazed. I've never been up here and this is just beautiful. It's, it's definitely one of the prettiest spots. Peaceful, relaxing, very friendly people. Uh, and definitely on our list of places to come back to. We've really been taken in by the area. So. Okay, I was gonna say, and, and what do you think? Yeah, is it gorgeous or what? <laughs> so we want to thank you all for watching. If you liked the video today, be sure and leave us a thumbs up. We do really appreciate that. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do so. We do have some additional videos coming out now. That way, when you ring that notification bell, you'll know when all of our latest videos come out. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thanks for watching today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out. Don't forget to follow us on social media too.